This is Twit. So what do you want to start? You want to start with Google? Google I.O.? Well, Google I.O. was kind of the, it should have been the biggest news of the week. And it wasn't. And it really kind of, I think a lot of, let a lot of people down. There was actually a lot of significant stuff. It just, they didn't really explain why the stuff mattered that good. Well, and much right? of the stuff wasn't available yet. Well, that's part of Google's, always Google's problem. Yeah. Yeah. I think the Gizmodo piece by Michael Nunez is, was, was the best that said that you just can't see that. It's, it's neater stuff, but you can't see it. You can't touch it. Well, I'm, and, and, you know, in, in Google's defense, that's a good point. I mean, uh, if, you know, you making, if, if you're making big strides in artificial intelligence, well, that just kind of slips away. If that's one of the things Sundar Pichai said, he says, we're moving from a mobile first world. By the way, I'm just catching up with mobile first. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of companies are. We're moving from a mobile first world uh, to a AI first world. And that's kind of that's kind of interesting. Um, and, and well, that was kind of the sell last year for Google I/O. I, think, I thought they said the same thing. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I, I, you know, yeah. one of the things that sticks out to me is if you look at the complaints before Sundar took over as CEO about a year ago now, um, a lot of it was that you go to Google I/O and you see all these like really fun G whiz kind of ideas that aren't necessarily fully realized that are costing a lot of money. Sundar came in as CEO and kind of focused the company, got rid of a lot of that sort of thing. And this is really what the company's focused on. And so this is iterative stuff versus last year in this AI yep. first idea. And there, and there, it's good progress. Like the cloud TPU uh, set up these, these, basically these computer chips that will help their machine learning system. Tensor grow, processing units. Yeah, That's grow probably faster. the biggest news of the event, right? This is, exactly. It has yeah. huge business implications. Fascinating. So, so, there, so these, are, these are inexpensive, almost, they look like almost like Raspberry Pis. They got four processors on them, big heavy duty GPU stuff. This is no Raspberry Pi, 180 yeah. teraflops. Yeah. And so this could give them an advantage in their cloud services versus Amazon. This could give them an advantage in building out their AI. They're also making it available to third parties so as part businesses. of the, yeah. the Google yeah. Compute yeah. Cloud. Build AI uh, software. So they've already open sourced TensorFlow, the software, yep. and these are hardware devices designed to run yeah. TensorFlow at speed. And if you, you know, you're impressed with 180 teraflops, that's really not the point because the idea is they massively paralyze, parallelize them. Yeah. And these these racks are multi petaflops per. This is 11.5 petaflops of machine learning in this rack. And so what I think the missing piece really was Sundar or somebody else from Google saying, hey, this is what the, this is the, here are the cool things we'll be able to build with this technology. Here's the stuff that you developers should come and help us build together. Regular people watching this, consumers and, and enthusiasts, here's what the future is going to look like. And and here's the vision, right? So they, it's, Sundar's Google doesn't do as good of a job at illustrating that vision in these keynotes as, uh, as, as you know. Let's face it. Tech journalists would wa rather have Sergey Brin uh, parachuting in with Google goggles on even though he that was on a better show. It's sure. a better show, well, but it's it's equally show. meaningless. Exactly. Ex well, yeah. not even equally. Maybe much, more so. <laughs> much more meaningless. Yeah, yeah right? genuinely meaningless. Yeah. So it's 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 less exciting, but this is probably one of the most significant things Google's announced. And I think I think that's really right. It, it it's enabling, right? It 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 it. it, it well, you know, you remember the, the name of that guy uh, we talked about on the show for like an hour once? Was a Swiss or an Austrian AI genius? Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember his name. It was his a great name. name. Either. Yeah, Jurgen, somebody. Yeah. But but he talked about how the theory is so far ahead of the practice because of exactly what you just said, Nate. Is that the, is that the power to do what they want to do isn't there? So, yeah. so their theory is way ahead. And this oh this Jürgen Schmidhuber. You're talking about Jürgen Schmidhuber. Jürgen Schmidhuber. Yes. Oh yeah. Not the best website I've ever seen. <laughs> See, I can't tell if this is like he hasn't updated his website since like 1996 or if it's like so an it's ironic, like I want machines. it to look this way, like in kind of like a hipster. <laughs> oh, click on what's new. Yeah. yeah. What's new? 12 May 2017. But I, I've also Good. probably zoomed this in. That's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> well, that's much, much better. I'm going to zoom back in because I can't read it that size. Um, hmm. But yeah, I mean, you know, like here's this opportunity S sell us on the future. Like, tell us where this is all going and why building this together with you is so much better than putting your energies as a developer or maybe, your dollars as a consumer towards Amazon. Maybe towards not. Facebook maybe the smartest Apple. thing would for them just to shut up. 
But see that this is this is what Google doesn't do. Google doesn't shut up. They build Apple their shuts products up. In, exactly. Google builds their products in front of you. Sometimes they fail, uh, but they always are basically. You get to see how the sausage is made. Apple, they they keep it secret, and then when they have a fully realized product, usually unless it's like a beta like Siri or, or Apple Maps, then they'll bring it out to you. Um, this is actually something that Mark and I have been talking about recently, uh, just just as friends, but also on our Buzzkill podcast. But it's like this is this Good is plug. a difference between those <laughs> companies. Yeah, uh, Facebook, Where's my plug buzzer? Yeah, Facebook also, <laughs> you know, with their F8 Developers Conference, they're they're further behind on all this tech, but they showed some like you know cute yeah. camera apps, and it got people excited. I kind of respect a company like Google where they're not going to do the flash; they're just going to do the. And remember, it's a developers conference, and they're not going to yes. try to impress. Well, it's a developers conference, but these keynotes have been so filled with consumer news that yeah. the expectation these days is that you're going to have something flashy to show. I was off. a little disappointed we didn't see anything about Chromebook. We didn't see anything about a lot of consumer products. They didn't mention the yeah. Pixel phones. They didn't uh, mention. They did mention Google Home and the Assistant, and the Assistant now is on the iPhone, mm -hmm. uh, which is really a stealth introduction to Assistant to get iPhone users to understand. You know that Siri you've got? That's crap. This is what a real assistant can do. I think hoping to woo some people over to Android, but at least to get them to buy the Google Home. The other thing that maybe it's just me, I keep mentioning this and everybody's kind of ho-hum. I think the fact that you can make free calls to the, any phone in the U.S. and Canada on your Google Home is kind of impressive. I think that amazes people our age. Maybe it's because we're old. Yeah, yeah. as we we're, saying, we're saying, we're there, you know, we, we're old enough, uh, fellow panelists, we're old enough that our parents would yell at us to get off the phone. Yeah, because it's long distance, it's costing a lot of money. Right. Yeah, see, to me, that's not impressive at all. Because your cell phone does that. Yeah. yeah, you have unlimited minutes now. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it, it goes, they don't want to talk on the phone. Nobody right? wants to talk on the phone. Yeah. If, if I have to go to my phone to set up my speaker, my speaker should know that my phone exists and it should be able to basically be a speakerphone like that doesn't seem crazy. I just Amazon, you millennials you know, don't Alexa, you can call all the other Alexas you can only call other echoes yeah this so in a couple of ways they scooped I thought they sort of you know scooped Amazon's big announcements the last few weeks because that was one announcement is free echo to echo calling big deal yeah and they also have by the way some privacy issues because there's no way to block calls so the fact that anybody who figures out how to get a hold of you on your echo can bug the hell out of you in your house yeah no is thanks. a problem no thanks but then remember amazon has announced but not yet shipped this uh home the sh what do they call it the show uh, yeah the show. the show has a screen on it it's really just a tablet with an echo built into it but google says well we didn't do that because you got screens all over the house so how about if you just can cast your calendar or your or your to your TV, your, to, yeah. to your TV or any other you know cast ready screen in your house, yeah. and of course most people have cast ready screens all over the place now. Yeah. So I thought that was that was impressive. It does make me wonder though if and this is something that Megan Maroney brought up actually, um, and we were talking about it earlier is is whether or not this puts pressure on Amazon to come out with a phone again because. Even so, you know, Google has its apps on the iPhone and they, of course, have Android. But basically, if you're using an iOS device or an Android device, they have a presence on your phone. And the reason why this might be a little bit of a jump ahead for them in this in the smart speaker phone calling thing is because they, they have access to your phone in ways that Amazon doesn't yet. Well, I, and that's the other thing Google has to kind of think about is the creepy line, right, Jeff? I mean, uh, every time they announce mm -hmm. something... There are going to be a, a group of people, privacy advocates, to say, "Oh hell no." Yeah, I don't know. Put yeah, that especially in my Europe. House. Yeah, right. Uh, the Google Lens is kind of funny. They announced uh, uh, this is a, an AI capability that reminds you a lot of Google Goggles, which and which Amazon's came out Fire Phone seven years ago. Right. Um, but I asked somebody at Google uh, who was involved in integrating this into uh, search and photos. She said, well, but this is AI, you know, goggles was kind of pre-populated. We had to teach it. This is, this is learning all the time. So for instance, I love this. They took, take a picture of a flower. This happens to me all the time. What is that flower? And it, it will actually say, oh, that's a milk and wine lily. And it will even give you nearby florists. You can order it and buy it. That is cool. That's a business proposition for Google, but I think yep. that's cool. If you have barcodes on the back of your router, it will automatically configure, you know, connect to it by just taking a picture of it it'll can read it and my favorite one was they showed you know you using your phone and i'm not sure what app this is 
Maybe it's just the camera app because that has lens built into it. You turn on lens and then you point at different storefronts and it'll tell you what the star rating is, you know, how much it costs. You can make a reservation. How many? Well, this is this is AR beyond what, what Facebook can do because Google has all that data. Well, and, it, you know, I know Apple at some point, Apple's going to announce AR. This seems to me exactly what Apple might announce in the fall. And I think they've scooped them a little bit.